What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and today guys, if you can't tell by the Christmas shirt that I've got on, I'm in a very festive mood. I'm here to talk about Elf on 4K, another Christmas 4K from Warner Brothers. I've already talked about Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation. I wanted to put a little bit of time in between those and these uh, because you know, I watched those in November. I kind of broke my rules. I don't like to watch Christmas movies in November, but the 4Ks came out. I was like, I got to talk about those 4Ks, those new 4Ks. So I reviewed those and I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off on Elf. I'm going to hold off on Polar Express for a little bit. And now I'm ready to talk about it. It's almost Christmas time. By the time I put this video out, it will be probably just a couple of days away from Christmas. So it's the right time to drop the Elf 4K review. But before we get into it, guys, before we talk about the movie and the transfer and the sound and all that good stuff, I need you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk about movies and physical media and Blu-rays and 4Ks. We do reviews and unboxing videos and just tons of stuff, late breaking news announcements. We do all that kind of stuff on this channel. And let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about the movie Elf? Is this one of your favorites? This is a big Christmas movie. A lot of people uh, love this movie. I certainly remember when it came out, like a lot of people were quoting this movie um, at school, like my family. Like this is a movie that became, I feel like, an instant classic. Like as soon as it came out, like this is a movie that everybody put on their Christmas list, uh, Christmas watch list, like every single year. Like it blew up almost immediately. Like sometimes movies need to like take some time, stand the test of time and like five, 10 years later, then they start growing in popularity. I feel like this movie grew in popularity like as soon as it came out, like everybody uh, instantly fell in love th with this movie and for good reason. Yeah, comment down below your thoughts. Also, let me know if you're gonna purchase this 4K uh, or if you did purchase it, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know that in the comment section below. It is available right now for $19.99. Actually went down $5. Uh, from when it initially came out. It was $24.99 when it came out. So, yeah, and again, it's been out for around two months now. It's been out for around two. I'm a little late to the party uh, on this review. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, but look, look, let's talk about the movie real quick. So this is directed by John Favreau. If you don't know who John Favreau is, he's been in a ton of comedies acting alongside like Vince Vaughn and, and Will Ferrell and, and stuff like that. But he's also directed a lot of movies. Um, and he's also created the the new Star Wars show, The Mandalorian. Like he's the showrunner on that. But he also directed uh, the Jungle Book. He directed uh, you know this movie, Iron Man. The, he was responsible basically for jump starting the new Marvel Cinematic. He's done a ton. Like he's got. He's got a very big career. Uh, he did the Lion King remake as well. I'm not going to hold that against him. The Jungle Book is really good, but the Lion King is not. He also did a space adventure movie called Zathora uh, that I actually have not seen, but I've heard really great things about. Cowboys and Aliens, he did that movie as well. He's done tons of, of movies over, over the course of his career, but this was one of his first movies uh, that he directed. Also starring Will Ferrell. I feel like this was the first like starring role for Will Ferrell, where he actually led the film. I know he did Night at the Roxbury, he did Old School, but he was like co-leads in those, in those movies. This is the first time he was uh, front and center, on the poster, his name at the top, like solo. After this, he would do Anchorman, Talladega Nights, all the Will Ferrell comedies that, that would go, that would run throughout the 2000s. But, um, and it's kind of cool that this is the one that I feel like has stood the test of time the best. Like Anchorman's still funny, Talladega Nights is still funny, but those were like moments in time, I feel like. And some of the comedy in those doesn't age the best, at least for some people. Whereas this movie really stands the test of time. And I think it's because it's a little bit more wholesome. You know, it's not Will Ferrell running around cussing and being real raunt and having all the raunchy humor and stuff with John C. Riley. It's just, it's Will Ferrell, it's good, wholesome, family fun and it's a Christmas movie and I think that helps it as well because uh, it just like it attaches itself to everybody's like family traditions every Christmas so this is the one that I feel like uh, of his movies that has held it the best so I kind of think that's cool that that, that was his first uh, starring movie and it holds up the best. Will Ferrell in this movie you got James Conn R.I.P. James Conn he just passed away this year I said it when he passed away I was like James Conn is one of those actors that you don't realize like the importance of him until he's gone because he was in misery. I love that film. Um, and this movie, I watch this movie every year. So I watch James Conn. He is on my TV, in my living room, every Christmas morning when I'm cooking breakfast uh, for my family. I always watch this movie on Christmas morning. Um, so yeah, James Conn's in the film. He's great, but it's got a great cast. Mary Steenburgen is in this film. 
She's great. I've loved her ever since uh, Back to the Future Part 3. Um, you got Zoe Deschanel in this movie. And really her first uh, starring role, I would say, like she really kind of blew up after this film, uh, especially with her singing and stuff. Like I feel like, I think she put out an album or something at some point. She acts and she also sings, but then she really got a chance to showcase that um, in this movie. Uh, Bob Newhart, you got Ed Asner, so you got a lot of like classic actors in this film. Uh, but I would say, and maybe some people may find this controversial, I would say this is the last legitimate Christmas classic, at least in my opinion. This is the last legitimate Christmas classic. There's been Christmas movies since that I enjoy, that I like. I actually like the Christmas Chronicle movies on Netflix. I like the Christmas Story Christmas. There are movies, Christmas movies, that I do like. Deck the Halls, I actually enjoy. Christmas with the Cranks, I enjoy. This is the last like iconic, staple Christmas movie, at least for me. Like a movie that I feel like I have to watch every Christmas. I don't feel like I have to watch any of the other ones. So it is significant, at least for me in that respect, as the last like legitimate Christmas classic that came out in 2003. Again, that's all subjective. Like that's strictly for me. That's my opinion, but I'm sure some other people may feel the same. But Will Ferrell is just truly iconic in this role. He plays the character of Buddy the Elf just so incredibly well, so sincere that you can't help but buy into the childlike wonder of his performance. He's a complete fish out of water. He's a he's a he's a person, he's a human that believes he is one of Santa's elves. And that just makes his character so likable, so funny, so hilarious because he does not realize he's a human. But everybody else around him uh, knows that he is. Even the elves and the humans. Everybody knows he's a human, but he doesn't realize it. Uh, so when he gets to New York and he's trying to look for his dad, he he's wearing the elf costume. He's acting like an elf. He's saying all the elf stuff. Um, you know, he's saying he believes in Santa, and everybody's just looking at him like he's crazy. But it's the way he plays his performance is so genuine. It's so sweet and sincere that you can't help but love him and just buy into everything that he's bringing um, in this movie. So, and I truly believe like maybe one other actor could have pulled off this role and it would probably be Jim Carrey. But I truly believe that only Will Ferrell uh, could do this role like he does it, like play it like he does it. It's just, it is a Will Ferrell role to the T and he just plays it so well because he plays it with such a comedic value, but there's also so much heart in it as well. And I think that's why this movie works as well as it does. Uh, just some really, really funny moments in this movie though. There, there, there are so many quotable lines. Um, I love all the stuff in the beginning, the winter, the, the North Pole stuff with the, with the, like, where they kind of go back to the old, like, stop motion stuff. Like, they have the snowman from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I love all that stuff. Oh, at least you have it, Daddy. I was just rolled up in the snow out here. Just all that stuff I just remember thinking was hilarious when it first came out. Uh, the little whale that comes out and says, Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. All that stuff, I, I just eat it up. I love it. Uh, but the Peter Dinklage moments uh, where he's in there, he says, call me Elf one more time. That's such a great scene. And it's still hilarious. I don't care how many times I see it. It's so funny when he's strangling. He, call me Elf again. He goes, you're an elf. Uh, it's so good. And there's just so many moments like that in this movie where I watch it. And it doesn't matter how many times I watch it. It's always hilarious. The only thing I think that doesn't work in this movie as well as much as I like Zoe Deschanel, as much as I like Will Ferrell, I don't really think that they have good like romantic chemistry together. Maybe if they were friends, I would buy into that a little bit more. I don't think they have as good romantic chemistry, so I never really bought into their relationship, but that's really kind of the only negative thing. I think that Will Ferrell and James Caan have really good chemistry uh, together, and I think they have you know a sweet father-son dynamic, and it's just a, it's a heartwarming family movie like it's hilarious but by the time you get to the end like you're getting all the christmas feels and stuff and i just i've always really enjoyed this movie so as an actual film i will give elf if i'm going to score it i give elf honestly a 4.5 out of 5 i love this movie like i said i've only got really one criticism with it but elf is just fantastic so getting into the 4k i gotta be honest like going to, i was like does elf really need a 4k but then i it's hard for me to think of this movie as being 20 years old almost like i still think of this movie as being like only 10 um but this movie was shot on film it was shot on 35 millimeters so this is a native 4k restoration with hdr 10 no dolby vision just hdr um and i would say that this is a significant upgrade over the blu-ray like i didn't realize that, that how much they could improve until I actually watched this and then compared it to the Blu-ray. But I'm not going to say it's night and day, but damn, does this look good. Like the HDR did such wonders 
for the colors in this film because this is such a colorful movie in particular in the first like 20 30 minutes of the movie in the north pole you have all the elf suits and all the colors of the elf suits you got will ferrell's suit but the hdr just really makes those colors pop they just look so rich and vibrant you got the reds and the blues and the greens and just will ferrell just all throughout this movie sticks out like a sore thumb in a good way because his suit is just so colorful and it's so beautiful and just everything about all of the elf suits and just how they pop with that HDR just looks fantastic. So I couldn't have been any more wrong. And again, I wasn't basing that on anything other than I just didn't think this movie was that old. And I didn't think the Blu-ray really looked that bad. But once I saw this, I was like, this is the way that I'm going to watch this movie every single year now because um, it just looks so good. But yeah, all the stop motion stuff, all the all the sets and stuff in the backgrounds, all that stuff looked beautiful. Unlike I've ever seen this movie before, it just looked absolutely uh, fantastic. But even outside the North Pole stuff, like once he gets to the city, all that stuff looks fantastic as well. And obviously you had the Santa's workshop place where Zoe Deschanel and all the other people work and Will Ferrell goes to work. Um, all that stuff looks great as well. But but just all like the regular scenes, like the office setting, like all that stuff still looks beautiful too. The skin tones were just so natural and realistic and had some great detail. Like I, there, there were, they were definitely saturated with that HDR, but it just looked like such a natural uh, skin tone on everybody. Just everybody looked so beautiful. Like I, I don't know how to describe it, but everybody's like skin looked perfect and so clear and just every detail, like you could see and pick up on everything. So. I honestly, like if I'm comparing this to A Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation, I don't know. Like I, I feel like, uh, I don't want to say it's better, but I feel like this wowed me more than Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation. Uh, but it's been about a month and a half since I watched both of those. But I just thought this was an excellent 4K uh, transfer. So again, I'm not going to say it's better. We'll say it's on par. So I think that Warner Brothers right now is three for three. Let's see if they can pull it off again with Polar Express, even though that's animation. It's going to be a little bit different there, but I thought Elf looked absolutely fantastic. Getting into the sound, this is a 5.1 DTS HD mix. Thought it sounded fantastic, but I've never really had any issues with the sound. It's the same sound uh, that was present in the Blu-ray. So everything about the sound was good. No issues there. Now getting into the packaging, I really, really, I know some people have had, to, had some problems with the Warner Brothers slipcovers, but I haven't really heard anybody have any controversy about this one. Even Chris's story too, I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about. But I really, really love this slipcover. I love Will Ferrell, the look on his face right there, making the snow angel. I think it's an awesome slipcover. And I'll show you the back right there real quick. We'll zoom in so you can see some of the specs and the special features. And yeah, I think this is a great slipcover. And we'll take it out right there. You got the same image on the inside. And then we'll show you the back. And then on the inside, I'm going to take the code out. Actually, I've already given away the code. Uh, but on the, uh, I think that is the Blu-ray disc, you have Will Ferrell. And then the 4K disc is the red disc. So I'm glad they did some differences there. That's definitely, uh, definitely pretty cool. But yeah, just a standard case. But I do like, I really like the cover. I do appreciate Warner Brothers. You know, they try to do something different with their subcovers. Sometimes it hits and sometimes it misses, but you know, I think that this one is a definite hit uh, for sure. Get into the special features. So I do have my Blu-ray here and all the special features are on the Blu-ray. They're not on the 4K and all the special features on the Blu-ray are present on uh, the previous Blu-ray. So there's nothing new here. So all the same special features that are in this set right here were present in the Blu-ray release when it came out. So nothing new. They got some commentaries. They got a commentary with John Favreau. They got a commentary with Will Ferrell. So, um, you know, they just ported over all the same special features. But I think this is a terrific release. I, I know we're almost to Christmas, but if you haven't bought this yet, definitely uh, check this one out. Maybe you can still pre-order it from Amazon get it in in time for Christmas and watch it with your family on Christmas Day in glorious 4K UHD with this with this beautiful HDR. It just looks fantastic. So highly recommend that you get ELF on 4K. I think it's a fantastic 4K disc, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Comment down below your thoughts on ELF. If you're going to purchase this 4K, I will link it down below, the Amazon link down below in the description. And turn on those bell notifications. Follow me on all my social media accounts down below. And we'll see you next time.